Hi, I'm Sandy with the Turquoise Revolving Closet and welcome to my video today. It is of um, a uh, thrift haul. I went to garage sales and found some pretty good goodies, I hope. And I didn't spend hardly anything. Probably um, my cost of goods are right around $1.50 each. So I when I go to garage sales, I don't, the highest I will go usually is $2 unless it's something spectacular. And then I may go up a little bit more depending on comps and I do comp it right there. Um, so this is, this is what we're doing today. And just to let you know, I'm releasing this video. It's Monday Memorial Day. So to all the veterans, including my husband, um, I hope that this day is good for you. I know there's a lot to remember with the veterans. I go through it with my husband that we went around to cemeteries Saturday because he was off and looked at um, different kinds of the graves that the soldiers, the veterans had. And we found one that was in the Spanish American War. And that was quite some time ago. And, but most of them were like the Vietnam, World War One, World War Two, so it was it was good, and my husband understands that they would have the what branch they were in and everything, and he knew he was he was a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne, and so that's kind of what he draws to is that. So you know we we did have a nice time, and because um, he had to work today, so we it was fun to go out and see. I mean. It wasn't like fun, fun, like you'd go out and have a great time, but it was a, a remembrance of what we've been through for this country and the veterans that laid down their lives for our country so we could have the freedom that we have today. And um, I'm not going to get into politics or anything, but I'm just re it's just a remembrance of what Memorial Day really is. And so let's get into the video of the what I bought and everything and also if you are new here I welcome you very much and if you would please hit that subscribe button down below and the like button the thumbs up so I can grow my channel like that and I would appreciate that very much and to the returning subscribers thank you so much for watching my videos I do really appreciate what you've done to help my channel to grow um, I'm real appreciative of that very much. And so anyway, all right, let's get in on it. So I got some um, videos and I don't know about them. I just kind of picked them up. There was a lot of people at the videos, so I just got them. Um, I know some of them, we, we would, um, if they don't sell or if their comps aren't very much, we'll keep them. But anyway, these are for us. We got the grown-ups. I have never seen that movie, but it looks funny, and it has um, Adam Chandler in it, so Sandler in it, so it must be really a good movie. I got Grumpy Old Men. This is a, I know this is dating me. It's probably back from the um, 80s or so, because I was living with my mom and going to school at the time, I think, when this came out, and we watched it, and... It was so funny. So I got that, and then I got Grumpy Your Old Man for us. And um, I can remember watching this with my mom and just having a great time laughing and everything. My mom and I, I lived with her for four years with my four children in a two-bedroom house. And um, we uh, made do, but we, we, ha we had great times. Um, it was crowded, yes, but... It was good. And the other one I got, I know that my husband has watched this several times, and it's Ghost Rider. And so um, I thought he'd like that to have it if we don't already have it. If it, we have it, then I'll see what the comps are. And I've got my dogs in here. I've got my dogs in here, and they're at the front door scratching at it. So I don't know if maybe a squirrel. That Maybe they've seen a squirrel. And... Polka Dot comes in to tell me about it. So if you guys do hear the dogs, just know that they are bigger dogs and they have bigger barks. 
So anyway, my next thing is Fast and Furious. Watch it, guys. Fast and Furious. I got quite a few of them. I got six of them, I think. Yeah. Um, I got Fast and Furious, and I it says the Fast and Furious Collector's Edition um, widescreen. I don't know which one this is. I'd like to watch them because I've heard, I, you know, I just haven't been really having time to watch movies or anything. And this is the Fast and Furious as well. And I, like I said, I don't know what numbers they are. I'll have to look and see when they were put out. If I do sell them, I'll lift them in that. Um, this is Fast and Furious Tokyo, Toko, Toko Drift. And there's what that looks like. And then I got Fast and Furious 6. This is on Blu-ray plus DVD. And then I got Fast and Furious 7 on Blu-ray and DVD. And I'll have to look. I haven't even looked to see if both of those are in there. I just thought that they would be nice. And this is Too Fast, Too Furious. So I don't know if that's their latest one or what. So anyway, we will see about those. Then my next ones that I know we won't keep is a Jurassic Park. And it is a, a full edition. And it also has like the um, three fold out. And I'll have to see what the comps are on this. And, but yeah, that has three CDs. Oops, I think I folded this one first. And they come in this really nice box. And then I got Harry Potter. And I, I don't know what these are. Just because I've never, I don't watch, I don't, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. But everybody, there, there's lots of people out there that is. And everybody has their own likes and dislikes, but that's okay. I'll still sell it because if it brings in good money. Um, this is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And then we have Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. And then we have um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And this is a Harry Potter and the Death Hollows Part 2. Um, and I've also, this is on um, Blu ray and DVD. And then just uh, DVD is part one of that. And then um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Zachaban. So those are my, um, I, and I'll just have to look up comps. But since I found so many of them, I'll probably lot them together and see what I can get for that. Then I have, this is a really, really cute dress, colorful, um, lightweight. It's jersey knit, but it's still lightweight. Um, it has the kind of a, it looks like a fake wrap around here. And then you can tie this in a bow to make it look like it's a wrap. And this is Dana. Bachman and it's an extra large so and it's probably um comes down past the knees I would say okay this is so pretty it has uh, machine embroidery on it all around the edges it's a royal blue very popular this year and see there's the um, embroidery that's around the neck on the sleeves just really pretty this is a Raffaella it's an XXL and I do like picking up the bigger sizes just because they are very hard to find and if you do find them are they you know really nice so I've gotten quite a few lately of larger sizes Okay, this is, and I think this is so cute. It's a Maurice's number one, size one, but it has this um, 
look at the embroidery down the front. It's a really boho. Has the ruffle to go down. It's a it's a little shirt boho or <laughs> embroidery here. So it has embroidery across the front, and then in the back it has this lace and just a really pretty. It's an olive green color. Then look how pretty this is. I thought this was just absolutely gorgeous. It's a um, torrid size 2. And just an absolutely pretty, beautiful. It's see-through, so you'll have to um, wear something under it, like maybe a camisole. And it just has like the um, sleeves that come down that make... Um, it's not quite a bat wing, possibly but it's just it's just one that gets sewn all together like there's like two pieces to this dress or this shirt the fronts and the back and then you sew it down the middle and they have there's a little thread I need to clip it's half button down the front here with covered buttons so that, I thought that was just beautiful. I love, love, love that color. It's my favorite color anyway. I have this. And this is a maxi dress. Let me see if I can get it correct. All right, there we go. And this here is um, called Perch by Blue pa Paper. And it's a size 2X. And it has like this ruching on top of the bodice. And it has this stripe all the way down to the waist. And then it has a very full and fully lined skirt. It's kind of like the brooms, uh, broomstick sh um, skirts that you, you know, you wad up and wrap it around the broom. And then this also has a tie here that you can cinch it up to make it your size so I thought that was really really pretty so um, I see I've only paid like a, the most I pay for clothes is two dollars unless it's spectacular this one here is a Christopher Banks it's a size one and I just thought it was so cute look at the zippers they are all different colors and it has the top chest pocket. Then it has the two bottom pockets with the colorful zippers in it. Um, it's fully, it zips all the way down. And I thought this was really, really pretty. The back, I don't see, I did not see any flaws. And the sleeves here also have, this is a green zipper. And this sleeve is a red zipper. I thought this was so cute. And it's a boho. I would call it boho just because of the different color zippers and everything. So it's a boho jean jacket. And I think that'll, that'll do pretty good as long as the comps are there. Then I got this set. Of, this is Chico's size zero. So it is a little um, sleeveless shirt. It's kind of a maybe... An athletic shirt but not real I mean it's not this the stretchy like actual like a, a athlete or anything like that it has ruching on the side here and then I got the pants I don't think this is athletic I think this is actually a, a um, outfit because these are like cotton but they are really cute they have the pockets in the front the zip up with a little blue button there and then it has the buttons on the back and back pockets they're kind of a, a, a slim but yet straight leg and so that'll be selling together I'll have to see how much that will be and hold on just a minute let me Grab a drink real fast. My medications tend to dry me out. 
there we go okay so here we are with and I don't know about this but I love that I love the name it's flying monkey I had to get it because the name I don't know what the comps are on it but it's a 29 and it is a skinny jean very nice condition So, I'll be looking those up. And then we have this sweater. I went back and forth on this, but I decided to get it just because it's an animal print. Red animal print. You know, we have to have some red animals in this. But it's, it's a Chico size 1. It's long sleeved with the black edgings around it. And it's complete um, button front and so it's not a button down button down are collars that button down at the at the um uh, right here at the points of the collar they button down um things that are button it's either a button up because you are buttoning it or it's a it's a front button and so either one of those is good to use but um I've, I've seen several people call shirts that have buttons down the front a button down button down remember collar is the button down button up or front buttons are the front anyway that is there okay this is so cute this caught my eye it's a lime green it's a jacket it is um zenergy by Chico's, a size zero. I think this is so pretty. It's got front but, uh, front pockets here. It's a zip front. It also has your, um, you, where you can pull it to tighten it to fit to you. And with it comes, which one was it? I've got two of them and they're very close to the same color, but this one is the one Yes, this is the one that come came with it. Let me make sure, because she had quite a few Chicos out there. Yeah, this is the one that went with it here. And it's just a regular t-shirt. It'll sell together. Um, just a plain t-shirt, but you put that under here and then wear she didn't have the pants so i guess the pants did not come with it but she could wear anything black would look beautiful with this and then she had this and it is a chico's it's also size zero and it's a, like a sleeveless little shirt and it has the like beads in the front around the neck and then it has this um it's this is the tatting type of lace um, it's not crocheted it's tatting there's a big difference it's a size thread you use and the way it is done so this is tatting and you could actually if you bought this too you could actually interchange those two together alrighty now this one I went back and forth on and this is my last piece I have, and it is a black sweater. It's really heavy because it has these um, metal crocheted in so they won't fall off. It has a zebra print in the back, and then this is... Just, it has a texture see the texture you can kind of see through it to make see you can see that zebra and it also has um, let me get it on the sleeves it has the same same thing the little metal things and this is just a cardigan that you can wear um, you could if, if you could find a zebra um, shirt to go with it that'd be really awesome to follow that and black pants or 
You could even do white pants. And so that is it for this haul. What I'm going to do is do another haul later today. And it will be for um, the... I'm in the hospital Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I get to go home. So I'll release that video that I made make today later today on Saturday. That way I don't mess up my times that I have videos usually coming out. So just know that I am either in the hospital or um, getting ready to come home or maybe I'm home. I don't know what time I'll be discharged. So anyway, I want to make that video so I can um, pre-record it and put it to go off next Saturday. And so anyway, well, I, I don't have anything else to say. Um, just keep me in your prayers that the surgery goes good. Um, I have no doubt. I have very good faith in my doctor that is doing the replacement. And, um, so we'll, I, I just know that there's going to be a lot of pain at the first, like it was with the other one, but in my, you know, I keep in mind, it doesn't hurt at all now. It works perfectly. And so I will be able to move a little bit better and or a whole lot better so anyway you all have a good week good memorial day to everyone especially the veterans um, knowing that i really appreciate what you've done for our country and what you are doing for your country even if you're not a veteran if you're active duty um just know i appreciate your uh helping to fight for our freedom especially in times that we are living today and so anyway i will shut this off and i will um, get the video listed y'all have a good day and i'm going to do my little thing with my camera i own it's like okay bye all have a good evening it didn't work <laughs>